Welcome viewers, thank you for being here once again. You are watching Bring the Nation Back to God and I am your host Christy Paul. Today I have with me the amazing Pastor Veronica Anuswangu, the founder of LWH Healing Center. She is a fertility and motivational coach and an author, a phenomenal author of amazing books, of over 30 amazing books. Um, a few of which we'd be talking about today and also we'd be hearing of her journey through ministry and how she has helped so many women especially in the community please help me welcome pastor veronica pastor you're welcome thank you so much oh lovely having you amen thank you so lovely. much it's so lovely to be here with you yeah lovely <laughs> so this is your Today marks your 26th year of ministry. Yes. Congratulations, Pastor. Thank you so much. Tell me, how do you feel? I feel so, so wonderful. Um, so blessed mm -hmm. because the Lord has kept me. Yes. You know, it's been a long journey. And, and if God had told me when he called me, it would take me this long, even to be where I am now. You know, sometimes we say, God, why didn't you show me? Uh, yeah. You know, but he, he shows you the end. Yeah. He, then he tells you to start running. Yes. You know, it's been a long, long journey. But I'm so grateful to God because mm -hmm. I've grown. Yeah. I've been trained. He has trained me in the fullness of life, of affliction, of joy, of God has trained me. So I am trained and I'm ready to run the race now. Oh, lovely, <laughs> lovely, lovely. <laughs> so let's talk because you have written over... 30 books now? Over 50? Oh, God. <laughs> how, how many? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Now. So how long have you been writing? Well, you see, when the Lord called me, yeah. he called me as a, a young mother. Mm -hmm. So I started writing. Oh, wow. I started writing those books. I used to put my children on my back and just write. Yeah. And write and write and I, I will write when I uh, he will tell me a topic I will write then when the topic stops flowing I will put them on my shelf and then he will give me another, another one, one. Wow. so I have them like that you oh. know and then even as of now sometimes he will say it's time for this book to be published mm. so I have so many books on my shelf that I started writing twenty twenty you know over 20 years ago wow. that are still waiting for the time to be published. Wow. So is there more in the storehouse? Oh, there is so many in my computer. It's oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is amazing. So as we go along, then we are publishing the books. Yeah. You know, but I just started as a young mother then with my, you know, with my two little kids. And I also want to say something to our women that are listening. Yeah. Sometimes God may ask you to do something and you have excuses. Oh, yeah. Yes. You see, you will say, oh, I can't do it. This, that, that. No. Mm -hmm. Start with what you have. Start where you are. Yeah. I started with my kids on my back. You know, my son, I used to put him on my back and, and, and just keep writing. I just kept going. You know, even though I didn't publish the books till later, when they all started school, then I started publishing the books one by one like that. Mm -hmm. But if God is asking you to do something, then please, 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 please do not... You know, do not delay doing that thing. Do not delay obeying God. Mm -hmm. Do not delay doing what God is asking you to do. Yes. Because he knows you can do it. Yeah. Don't say, oh, I don't have help. Of course, if you wait till you have help, you will never do it. Praise it is God. so true. Yes. Thank you for that. So you have written over 50 books. Can you name some of them that you have? 